guys and welcome to my channel and today's video is going to be a little bit different today I am going to be remaking one of my squishies I made over nine months ago I thought it would be fun to compare how I make my squishies then versus now Before we get started, if you're new to my channel, then hi, I'm Alina. Just so you guys know, I post every Wednesday, so be sure to hit that red subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any new videos. And without further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, really quickly before we start, I just wanted to show you guys my slime and squishy area. This is what it looks like. I'm just going to show you around. This is where my guinea pig cage is. These are my two guinea pigs, Snickers and Cinnamon. Now I'm going to open the cage and show them to you guys. There's Cinnamon in the back munching on some hay. And here's Snickers. They can be a little bit shy, but they're really sweet. Alright, now moving on to the shelving area. This is where I keep most of my supplies. Here, as you can see, is my collection of puffy paint. So we are going to be using some red, green, black, and white puffy paint. Alright guys, so to start off, we're gonna need some memory foam. I got this out of a memory foam pillow I found at Walmart. Now I'm gonna take a really sharp pair of scissors and cut out a triangle shape. The first time I made the watermelon squishy, I was cutting in really big chunks, but you wanna make sure you're cutting in small snips so the edges are nice and straight. So here I have my very basic watermelon shape. Now I'm gonna go back over with my scissors and fix all of the rough edges. This memory foam is much too thick to be a watermelon slice, so I went ahead and took my scissors and carefully cut it in half. So after cutting the squishy in half, this is what it looks like. I was really happy with it. And now I'm gonna go back over with my scissors one last time to make sure I didn't miss anything. So this is the final shape of the squishy. I was really happy with it. The edges were nice and smooth. As soon as the edges are nice, then you know it's time to start painting. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint my squishy with some red puffy paint. Last time I just used regular acrylic paint and it started cracking and chipping really bad, so I found that this method works the best. I would show you guys the original squishy, but I have looked everywhere, I cannot find it, so I'm just gonna have to show you guys pictures. So now I'm going to paint the whole squishy red, except for a little spot on the bottom for the rind. Now I'm going to take a smaller paintbrush and paint along the border to make a nice straight line. So to add some fun details to the watermelon, I went ahead and added some white puffy paint, just a small line right on the border. Now, using some green puffy paint, I'm going to go ahead and paint the rind. And finally, I'm going to go ahead and take some black paint and a really small paintbrush to paint some seeds. As soon as the paint on the front was dry, I went ahead and painted the same design just on the back. So 
So here's the completed watermelon squishy. Now we're gonna go ahead and compare it to the original. I was gonna compare them by putting them side by side, but I could not find out I looked everywhere for it, so we're just gonna have to use pictures. The squishy I made is very similar to the original. I did use a different type of paint and I also used different colors. I highly recommend using puffy paint rather than just acrylic paint because as you can see in the picture, it does crack. I also noticed that this squishy is a lot more slow rising than the original as you can see. When I put puffy paint on my squishy, it's a lot more slow rising. That was the very first squishy I ever made and I'm really proud of it and I just love to look back on it and see how much I've improved. guys that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you guys would like to see the original squishy video i'll be sure to leave a link down below and i do have an instagram so if you guys would like to check that out i'll leave a link down below as well and again i post every wednesday so be sure to hit that red subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any new videos bye see you guys next week